So a while ago, I inherited a bunch of 1 8 inch shank router bits from a friend. I was looking at them the other day, seeing what was in here. Lo and behold, there was some 1 8 inch shank Rockler 60 degree V-bit engraving bits. So I thought, let's go ahead and test these out to see how well they work. So all I'm doing is setting up a simple uh, test uh, engraving here in Vetrix. So I'm setting my uh, origin points and we're just gonna go ahead and slap down the text test in a Times New Roman font. We're gonna set our anchor point half an inch in from each corner and we'll hit apply. Now that we have our text, we need to set up our tool path. We're gonna go ahead and use the V-carve engraving option. Uh, we need to select the right bit. Once we have our bit selected, we'll be able to run a, a preview of the tool path, make sure it looks good, and we're ready to take it to the machine. All right, now's a good time to uh, slap down our material, and I could just clamp them in, but I'd like to show off this uh, method that not everybody knows about. It's using the two uh, just regular painters tape and basically creating a uh, double-sided tape out of it. I'm going to use CA glue and some accelerator. You just put, uh, put some CA on the tape on the one side, then take your accelerator, spray that down on the other side, line them up, hold it for a few seconds, and it's as good as clamped down. Easy to use, no need for tabs. Now we're going to go ahead and set our zero point, bring it down just touching the lower left corner all the way down to the surface and we'll zero them all off. Next we're going to go ahead and load our file into UCCNC that the Stepcraft is driven from. Text is ready to go, speeds are ready, let's go ahead and hit start. Seeing this is the first time I had run these bits, I probably went a little conservative on my feed rates and uh, especially my plunge rates, but we'll go ahead and speed this up and let you watch the cut. It turned out fairly clean, but there's a little bit of fuzz on the top, so let's go ahead and take some sandpaper and just clean that up. And with that, it's all cleaned up, looking pretty good for a free bit. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.